Hello and welcome to the How To and What To series. I'm your host, Shekhar Suman, and today we are talking about Unit 3. Yes, you heard me right. Last two weeks, we have been continuously focusing on Unit 1 and 2, and in a sequence, now is the chance for Unit 3, Fundamental Processes. Now, as you know, CSIR net syllabus is vast. It's equal to maybe 10, 12 MSc syllabus. And when it comes to the competition, it's huge. A lot of people ask, you know, attempt this exam. And probably this is one of the only exams, uh, apart from UPSC, where immediately after writing the exam, you start getting money. And that makes the competition tougher, stiffer, and much more difficult for students. And that's the reason we came up with this series, and we call it as How To and What To series. Now, what to how to series is like, all these things we need to discuss, right? So it's like Krishna telling the path to Arjuna. That's the intention of this particular uh, series for today. So today we have another faculty of Biotechnica, a very highly experienced uh, faculty and expert of Biotechnica. And um, her name is Dr. Nidhi. Welcome, Dr. Nidhi, to the show. And thank you, sir. I've wish to welcome Hello. you for this uh, wonderful uh, series. So uh, before we get started, uh, how are you? Great, sir. I'm doing great. Hello, everyone. Wonderful. And welcome to another episode of How to Do series. All right. So now, uh, Nidhi, ma'am, we, we have this fear all the time about this unit three fundamental processes. Should we be scared as a student? From no, this no, unit. not at all. Not at all, sir. In fact, I would say that this unit is comparatively shorter and it is easier right. as compared to the other units from CSIR syllabus. Okay. Uh, but is it scoring? Is it a scoring yes, yes, unit? De definitely. This unit is uh, scoring. In fact, the entire unit is scoring. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, foremost, I would like to say, like I had mentioned earlier, that this unit is simpler as compared to the other units. So let me just right. introduce you that what we are going to study and learn uh, from this unit. Uh, this okay. unit contains or it comprises of all the fundamentals of basic cellular processes happening in the cell. Like we know, application, transcription, translation, post-transcriptional processing and all. I'm sure mm -hmm. all the students, they might be knowing about the central dogma around which the right. molecular biology revolves. And this Correct. unit three, it has been structured in synchronization with the central dogma only. So how the mm -hmm. DNA, it acts as the information template or uh, the instruction manual from where the in information is transmitted via mRNA to the proteins. Mm -hmm. And as we know that proteins, they will be acting as the structural molecules, as well as the enzymatic molecules as catalyst, as the factors in transcription, replication or translation uh, performing in the cellular uh, signaling and many more functions. So basically, right. this is what you are going to learn from unit three. Okay, so uh, the points actually actually answered my next question, which was what to study. So, all right, so we have, we now know molecular biology and all these topics we have to study. But yes. ma'am, uh, when it comes to, it's definitely very interesting transcription, translation. When I was a student, I loved it. Uh, but the question here is how to study in such a way that we remember for a longer time because the exam is going to happen maybe two months later or six months later. So how do we study that we we'll remember it for a longer time? What is your take on yeah. this? Yeah, that's a very good question, sir. In fact, many students come to me asking that uh, how mm -hmm. we can make this unit further simpler. So I always say that uh, definitely uh, being a simpler unit, we, uh, you know, we just uh, we shouldn't be ignoring uh, the difficulties which we may face while learning this unit. And the only difficulty I would like to mention is to remember the names to memorize right. the names of the factors and the enzymes which all these fundamental processes will include because that is mm -hmm. the only difficulty we are going to face. You have to okay. remember those names and then you have to retain them and you have to recall those names during the short duration of 
time which of you'll course. be getting during exam. So the only right. way to tackle that problem is that take help from the uh, you know uh, intelligent or you know uh, those uh, study assistance tools. I would say, and there I will mm -hmm. always suggest that uh, the crisp flow charts they will help you in remembering okay. the steps of those processes, the molecular events which are associated with the processes, and then to remember the names which are associated with them. So yes, uh, the flowcharts, they will always be helpful. Okay, so that, that definitely will make uh, the life easy for students. So yes. uh, ma'am, now the next question is, okay, I'm studying and all these topics I'm studying and now I know the procedure also. Mm -hmm. So how scoring is this topic in terms of numbers like how many questions will come in part c part b if you could throw some light on that yes 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 uh looking at the previous exam paper pattern and all uh so uh, around 10 to 12 questions they would be asked from this unit alone okay so it could be more than that but that's just an average number i'm sharing so around four to five questions you can expect in part b and uh, five to six questions you can expect in part c and the other thing is that concept from this unit they could be merged with the concept from the other units as well to create overlap. part c question yes overlapping okay. that would be seen yes unit right. three concepts right. they could be merged with unit two unit eight unit 13 so that makes this unit even more important to be included important. in your selected units yes okay so uh, now that we know okay uh, the important topics uh, uh, we know and okay how to study also we know now question is is there anything we can skip actually because you know as a student we want to make it simpler right because we have to study so many units so is there any topic from this unit which we can actually blindly skip and still score better so do you have anything take on that uh, sorry to say but sir i cannot suggest even a single uh, topic which you can skip from this unit uh, okay. all the four subunits are important because the questions can be created from any of these four subunits or uh, somewhere mm -hmm. you will find that all the concepts they would be merged to create the questions so therein we cannot okay. think of skipping any subunit but yes i can suggest that you can cover some topics at the end once you are done with the other part of the unit so you can uh, you know prepare those topics later uh, so like mm -hmm. extra chromosomal replicons translational regulation the translational factors so these are few topics which have been asked less in the exam so you can prepare it later okay so can you suggest some uh, standard books uh, which we should refer to when we are studying for this particular exam Yes, for this particular in, uh, unit. again, that, that's a very important question. All the students, they would like to know that what all are the reference books they can go for. Uh, so therein, I, my answer would be that any good standard book of molecular biology, if you have, so you can refer that book. But if you'll ask me, then molecular biology of the gene, Watson. So okay. there you will find Watson. all the details. That's a very good book. But if you are a beginner to molecular biology, then you can start from a uh, CARP. So the diagrams, they are very simple. Language is very student friendly. Uh, so you can right. refer that book as well. Or the other options are Leninger. I'm sure all the students, they might be having this book. Leninger, that's a book for biochemistry. But you'll get all the basics of these cellular processes as well. Apart from that, Elbers mm -hmm. and Elbers and Cooper, they are the other options we have. Okay, so there are plenty of reference books available. And I am yes. sure uh, all these books are also available in the library of Biotechnica as well. So Definitely. students who are preparing, you all can enjoy studying these books in Biotechnica's library as well. Yes. So, uh, okay, so if we have to now study, obviously we're going to make not notes, right? So mm -hmm. any suggestions on how should we make notes for uh, fundamental processes? Anything you would like to highlight here? Sure. Uh, there I would suggest sir, that preparing the detailed notes for unit three that won't be helpful. In fact, that okay. will be uh, not very time Waste consuming. Time. And we, yes, we need to save time. So again, right. I would come to that thing only that you should be preparing crisp flow charts. So flow charts, okay. these are the symbolic representation of the steps which are included in any process. Uh, so, you know, we can use colorful pens and all to mark the connectors, to highlight the names. So so definitely 
they will be helping us. If I just compare it to the Google Maps, we all are used to it nowadays. Right. And earlier, it was too difficult to travel clueless when we just didn't have any of idea course. that uh, where to reach and how to reach. So it the was very charts, cumbersome. Yes. So the flow charts that would be helping you in that way. And they shouldn't be perfect in terms of the looks, but the details attached, they should be correct. And all the names of the enzymes and the factors which you are going to add. So just try to add them in a simpler way. Okay. So um, now the next question which I have for you, ma'am, is uh, Biotechnica has ready-made flowcharts in form of Conceptica and Conceptica right. Light for Unit right. 3. Yes. So how helpful that would be if a student goes and buys that because you have already seen it. So how helpful that would be uh, instead of making a flow chart and you know straight away jumping in and buying some ready-made flow charts and studying from them will that be helpful yes definitely because we know so you and me know that all those flow charts they have been prepared by the experts so like mm -hmm. i said that the flow chart they should be correct in terms of the details which have been added to them so if the right. students they are getting the material which has already been prepared by the experts so i think that is cherry on the top of the cake so definitely okay. that will be helpful to the students yes. all right so audience you can you just heard from the horse's mouth it's a cherry on the top of the cake. So if you are going for ready-made uh, Conceptica flowchart book, it's a wonderful addition to your uh, arsenal of weapons for CSI and NET as well as gate exam. So now uh, the question which I have for you, ma'am, is, okay, there are some students who will target multiple exams like gate, DBT, ICMR. So will this particular unit, studying this unit, help me there? If yes, how much? Yes, another uh, good thing about covering this unit is that yes, we do have these topics in common with the other exams as well. Okay. If I talk about gate, so yes, you have molecular biology portion uh, in section three there. So, you know, that will be again helpful. And even the DBT syllabus that is also having the molecular biology, even if we talk about the ICM, ICMR, JRF, SRF. So there also mm -hmm. you will find the molecular biology topics. So we we can say sir ek tir kai shikar so if you are going to include this unit in your preparation strategy that is going to help you in the future as well and let me tell you no matter to whichever field you go you will always find the molecular biology concepts relevant there Right. Even if you are learning recombinant DNA technology, how would you be able to understand that? What is recombinant DNA technology if you don't have any idea about the basics of the molecular biology? So definitely that that uh, gives us another reason to learn this unit. Okay. So ma'am, now uh, you have highlighted so many important things about this unit. One uh, question which comes in my mind is earlier in our show, we discussed that some topics overlap with other units. So what's your suggestion which other units also we, we should study along with it so that there is a flow and we, we will be able to you know solve more questions which units do you think overlaps yes, with this so, unit? Uh, yes sir. so unit three the questions uh, you will find they'll be overlapping with the concept from unit two like if i talk about okay. replication so replication mm -hmm. definitely you can find the questions uh, which will be merged with the concept of cell cycle from unit two so okay. therein you will find there will be the fusion, uh, especially in creating you know, part C questions, they do all those kind of fusions. And if you uh, go to unit four, so again, you will mm -hmm. find that the concepts, they could be interrelated. There we have cell signaling. So unit three right. concepts, they can merge with cell signaling as well. Then uh, if we go to unit eight, unit eight uh, is all about genetics so there you have a separate subunit named in mutations now in unit three we have a subunit uh, we have a topic in the first subunit dna repair so again mm -hmm. dna repair mechanisms they are related to mutations so you need to know that uh, what are dna damages and then what particular type of dna repair mechanism is going to work so yes they are interrelated once again and then unit 13 so like I have already given a hint, the recombinant DNA technology you will be able to understand the techniques only if you know about the basics of molecular biology. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, wonderfully answered by ma'am. So, so we know now which units you should study or overlaps will be there. So definitely ma'am, now the part C questions will come as a combination of these concepts, right? That can, that can yes. happen, right? 
Yes, so, definitely. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, when you were, uh, you know, when you see the papers of CSN, which is one favorite question of part C from this unit, if you could try to recall uh, from any of the years, previous years question paper. Okay, so in general, I would like to answer that, yeah. that the questions which have been asked based on the operand concept, so they always operand. remain one of my favorites. That is one of the very interesting and scoring topic. So mm -hmm. I, I would suggest that the students, they should definitely cover that part. If you get to understand the basics, how the operand system works, so you'll be able right. to fetch some good marks in part C. Okay. So uh, having said that, ma'am, now uh, I'm a little curious about you. So when you were preparing for CSIRnet, so uh, what were the challenges you faced for this particular unit? Now that you are a master and expert of this unit, what were the challenges you faced from this unit? If you could highlight that. Yes, surely. Sir. The challenge was that uh, one thing only to remember the name. So, uh, yes, right. I can understand, you know, what problem the students might face when they'll be learning on this unit. Uh, so mm -hmm. they're in uh, learning, uh, retaining and then recalling those names during the exam. That was the biggest difficulty. And uh, mm -hmm. therein, I also tried to prepare those flowcharts, which helped me a lot. So definitely okay. those study assistants tools they will make our journey easier and mm -hmm. they will help mm -hmm. us to achieve more in lesser time okay so uh, we have asked you a lot of questions today ma'am i'm sure uh, students must have got interest from this now the question last question which i have is okay uh, as in general we, we're talking about now in general for all those students who are preparing for these exams like gate csi and activity icmr What's your advice to them so that they succeed in this year or next year whenever they try? What's your single most important advice to all, all our students? Okay, so uh, dear students, I would like to suggest that while you will be preparing your strategy for exam, first of all, don't miss on including unit three in your selected units. Now, besides mm -hmm. that, I would say that definitely you want to inculcate focus, self-determination, confidence, time management, but always remember to add study assistance tools. Let them be the flowcharts, let them be the tables, let them be the mind maps. So you must include them. And like I said, that will make your learning process easier and convenient. And you will be able to retain those things for longer. And definitely you'll be able to achieve more in lesser time, like I said earlier. Wonderful addition there, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time today. Let me uh, tell you, students, I am a big fan of Nidhi, ma'am, already. And the articles she writes and all those things which she writes, I am a big fan personally. And uh, today, I am sure you all have become her big fan. And if you want to study from her, you are most welcome to join our batches, which start almost um, every month now. You, you are most welcome, but we take only 16 students per batch. So that's a limitation there. And also for the students who are uh, in Noida, you can go and meet Nidhi Ma'am also in our Noida office. Now, having said that, at the same time, let me highlight this very important pointer which Ma'am said. And that is the additional tools, the weapons. For example, if I have to communicate with you, I can write a chitti, I can write a letter and send it by post, but it is slower process. The same way studying from uh, you know, notes or making notes and studying from standard books, a slow process. You can make it faster using adding catalyst and that is a study tools which you have got like Conceptica, like Conceptica flowchart, concept tool, like concept wheel, concept table, all these things. So what are you waiting for? Come subscribe to Biotechnica's channel and our coaching services where success happens to you. Thank you so much for watching this episode of How To What To series. I'll see you next week in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.